Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Today, we are gonna be talking about this. This is the all new Audio-Technica LP60X. And it's got some great new innovations and upgrades from the original LP60 that's so popular and which we reviewed some time ago. Here's the link to that video. But in the meantime, let's get into this brand new machine and see what it's all about. Welcome to Recordology. Okay guys, it's definitely not a good idea to measure your happiness level in terms of physical possessions. But there's something that makes me undeniably excited and happy about opening up a brand new record player or even checking out a used one. This is a brand new, fresh off the production line, Audio-Technica LP60. It has been redesigned. The best parts have been made even better. We reviewed the old LP60, which is an excellent, excellent record player, and currently my number one pick for a less than $100 record player, for those of you that are wondering, my number one pick. Unless you want an all-in-one experience, this is your best component entry-level point for vinyl. It's an excellent machine. But anyway, this is the all-new ATLP60X fully automatic belt drive turntable, and the packaging is just awesome. We've got the specifications, we've got pictures, and on the back, we have a picture of Hideo Matsushita testing a phono cartridge from 1965, I believe, and some great specs. Uh, this features an all-new redesigned uh, tone arm counterweight system, so we'll take a look at that and it includes an audio cable. And I love this infographic right here. It even tells you how to connect this because we get a lot of questions about, well, is this something that you need a pair of speakers for? Does it have built-in speakers? And this explains you either need powered speakers or you need an existing stereo system with speakers. Okay, let's get into it. I love the Audio-Technica packaging. Okay, this is, I thought that was a drawer, but it actually lifts up. All right, we've got our instruction manual and we've got a 45 RPM adapter right there. We've got our two foam blocks. One of them is marked accessory, so definitely don't throw that away until we look inside. And now I'm just gonna lift it out. Doesn't weigh a whole lot. Okay, let's go ahead and take off the packaging materials and get a closer look. All right. This is definitely very well packaged. And for those of you that have seen this show before, you will know that I don't open these very gracefully. It's kind of hard to do it while you're on camera and uh, trying to actually do it at the same time. So the uh, platter is here. So I'm gonna set that aside so it doesn't fall out. And I'm gonna remove this brick right here. It's got some accessories, so we wanna set that aside. And then here is the turntable itself. It is wrapped in a plastic wrap, which is like an anti-static wrap. And then on the inside, it's got like, oops, see what I mean? Not too graceful. And on the inside, we've got um, a foam wrap on it as well. Here's the big reveal, guys. Here's the big reveal. Oh, oh that is awesome. Now, I'm a big geek, and I love seeing the inner workings of things. So being able to see what's under the hood right off the bat, I think that is cool. This is a belt-driven, fully automatic turntable. And while we have it open like this, and before we put the platter on, let's go ahead and take a closer look. So here is the pulley for the motor, and that will attach to the belt that'll go around the platter. And over here we have the mechanism for the automatic turntable itself. Okay, so here's the platter. It's also wrapped in a protective plastic. This is aluminum which is a great anti-resonance material. So it will help prevent resonances that you don't want from getting picked up by the tone arm and the stylus and projected out through the speakers. So there's the bottom side, it is aluminum. It is belt driven, so you can see the belt right there on the inner edge. That will correspond to this pulley right back here. Now, they've done a really good thing in that they've put a little piece of ribbon and tape um, behind this pulley. Now watch what this is gonna let us do. This is super, super cool. So we are going to gently place the platter onto the turntable like this. 
And this ribbon that's taped down here, let's go ahead and remove the tape. Don't let it pull too hard on the ribbon, but remove the tape. Now you can take the ribbon, which is behind the belt, and use it to help you guide the belt behind the pulley there. Easy as that. Now we're ready to roll or spin. Next, we place the felt platter mat right on top here. You can use the felt one that comes with it, which is a great material and a very common platter mat material. Or you can upgrade and get like an aftermarket acrylic or leather. A lot of people like cork. And we've done other shows about that as well. Um, but yeah, this is a great starting point and a great, a lot of people just like the felt. So uh, a great platter mat to have there. And we put our 45 adapter right back there. It's got a little indent, so when you want to take it out, you can push it back and lift it right out. And then obviously it goes right there. So if you're playing a 45, you know, a record like this that has the big hole, it appropriately spaces it so that it will fit the hole in the record perfectly. Okay, you guys. So it comes with a very useful uh, user manual, which is actually really nice. It's got some pictures and explains some basics, uh, which is really good because I'm a visual person. I don't want to read through a bunch of instructions. Um, in the other brick here, the one that said accessory, uh, we've got a power supply, I believe. I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here. Looks like that's all that's in there. Um, so we'll pull this out and there we go, the transformer. Now, something that you're gonna see a lot in uh, record players these days is this push to use detachable cables. A lot of older record players will have uh, cables that are attached to the back of the record player permanently. So if the cable wears out, it's kind of frustrating. But this one and the new LP120s as well feature uh, cables that can be unplugged from the back of the unit. And speaking of the back of the unit, let's take a close look at the back of the unit and see what we got back there. Okay guys, so here is the back panel. It is pretty simplistic, which is a good thing. You simply plug in your power supply right there that it came with. Um, the other end into the wall power supply or a power strip. Now this is kind of interesting, the way they did the audio out, it actually uses a mini plug cable that's included, mini to RCA stereo. So you plug that end into the back of the unit, that's stereo audio. So once you're plugged in there, this end will plug into either powered speakers or a stereo receiver. Because it does use a moving magnetic cartridge, it needs a preamp. We've talked about this in the past, but basically a moving magnetic cartridge where the needle is, is actually a higher end pickup, but it puts out a lower voltage. So that means that it needs a little bit of amplification on top of a regular volume control. So this record player comes with a built-in preamp, which is awesome. You can use an external one or the built-in one. Um, if you put it on phono, this will be the lower voltage level. So if you want to plug it into your own preamp, or a receiver, some of the older receivers would have built-in preamps, put it on phono, and then plug this directly into the device. If you wanna use a built-in preamp, just flip the switch like that and plug it right into the powered speakers or into the receiver. So a lot of people hold the LP60 in very high regard for a good reason. It's a fantastic turntable and it has unprecedented features and quality, especially given the very low price to get into it. So what is different about the ATLP60X compared to the old LP60? Well, there are some superficial design features, which you can see. I'm gonna splice in some pictures here of what the old unit looked like. Let's start by looking at this counterbalance mechanism in the back. This is a spring-loaded counterbalance, so you don't have to worry about adjusting it. Everything's very automated on this turntable, so you don't need to worry about adjusting the counterbalance either. It's not gonna damage your records. It's not gonna to put too much downforce or tracking force on the needle. Everything is set as it should be but it does have a new look, it has been redesigned, and there it is. There's also been some redesign to the front panel of this unit. I think it looks better than ever. Very, very cool. Also, the plinth, which is this material here, has gone through a redesign, especially back in here. There was a raised area in the back, which it no longer has. It's got a much more sleek look to it. It looks great, you guys. Aluminum platter, plastic plinth, both of those materials, the ABS plastic and the aluminum, are very low resonance materials. So that's all good for sonic reproduction of the records. It prevents unwanted vibrations from speakers or for walking across the floor from creeping into the stylus and therefore into the sound that you hear on the speakers. 
Okay guys, this is a fully automatic turntable, but there still are some controls you need to be aware of. Um, it offers a simple push button start and stop. So there's a start button, the stop button. This button right here will raise or lower the tone arm. So that's like a cueing lever that we've seen in the past, but it's automatic. So instead of needing to touch the cueing lever back by the tone arm, you just press this button to raise or lower the tone arm. Also, one bit of information we do need to tell the turntable is the size of a record either seven inch for 45s, or there's some 33s that are seven inches, or 12 inch for a full size LP. Uh, if it's a smaller record, seven inch. If it's a full size 12 inch record, you go up there. This does not play 78, so don't put a 10 inch record on here because it's not gonna know where to drop that needle appropriately. Also over here on the left is a push button to select the speed, if it's 33 or 45. First thing we're gonna do is play a 45. So I am gonna put the 45 spacer on. I'm going to gently place my 45 RPM record on. I'm then gonna select 45 RPM, which is the indented position. Next is we need to tell it it's a seven inch record. And that is it. We can then just press start. And it does everything automatically. It raises the stylus and tone arm and it rotates it to the correct starting position and it begins playing the record. And that is so, so awesome. We can press this cueing button right here to raise it anytime we want. If you want to stop the music or pause it as it were for a second, and then pressing it again, we'll lower it back down onto the record. And when you're all done, all you got to do is press stop and it'll raise, rotate and lower, and then it'll stop the platter all by itself. A fully automatic turntable. And that is awesome. Now let's try playing a 12 inch record. So we'll put our 45 spacer back there. And we are gonna do a sound test here in a minute, but first I just wanna show you the mechanics of how it works. So we're gonna place our vinyl record on just like that. This is a 12 inch vinyl record. So we're gonna want 33 RPM. So I'm pressing that button to the 33 RPM position, switching this back to 12 inches. That's gonna tell it where to drop that needle. So now, instead of going over here to drop it where the seven inch record was, it knows to place it on the outside. But again, all I have to do is hit start. And it does it all by itself. This is the coolest thing ever. And did you notice how compact this unit is? There is no wasted space. So if you're on a limited space situation, if you're in an apartment, or you just don't have a lot of room for extra stuff, this is a perfect turntable for you because it's so small. It packs in all the features you need. It packs in excellent Audio Technica quality into a very small package. All you need is this and a pair of powered speakers and you really have everything you need for a complete vinyl setup. So what do you do if you wanna play a specific track? Simply press start like you normally would. This actually does have some manual control if you want it that will allow you to go to a specific track. So let's say you don't wanna start at the beginning of the record, you wanna play the third track first. You can do that, and here's how. This cueing button, again, will raise the stylus and tone arm. It'll keep the platter moving, and then you can just very gently guide the tone arm over to where you want it to start, and then press the cueing button again, and it'll lower it right there. And it's got a dust cover that can close while it's playing. I don't know if there's enough headroom in there to have it lift up and move over while it's playing, so I would recommend keeping this open unless you really need to, but when definitely when you're storing it, keep that baby closed right there. That'll keep everything dust free and working perfectly. Now let's go ahead and listen to the sound quality. What you're going to hear is a direct feed from this record player directly into the camera or the computer that we're editing on. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're going to rock around. I don't want to leave it now. You know I believe in how. Okay guys, and there it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna get your very own LP60X at a really good price, click on the link in the description below. Now, don't forget to share this video out to your friends. I appreciate you guys being there more than you know. Happy record hunting. We'll see you next time. I'm not very good at this. Neither am I. Okay, what did we lose?
Thank you for watching Recordology. Stay tuned for a new show every Sunday and Wednesday. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter. You're wonderful. Hey guys, welcome back to Recordology. Today we have a turntable. That's all I got. Tell us about it. <laughs> this one right here is from Audio Technica. It plays records, and you can play all sorts of records on this bad boy. That's all I got. Okay, <laughs> yep. cool. That's good. Just thought I'd be part of it. Thank you.